Hello student, let's uh, continue with the next part in the unit 3. Uh, so our unit 3 name is the language translator and we are at the almost at the end of unit number 3. So today we will discuss about the very important topic on which uh, your practicals of uh, SPOS lab is also depends. And if you understood this topic uh, properly, then you can also understand the practicals related with this topic in the group B of the SPOS lab. So uh, today we'll see about the uh, overview of legs and the features of the legs and what is exactly the language processing language processor development tools okay this topic today we'll cover also we'll cover the word program on that and uh, how that program will get uh, written and uh, how it will get uh, process and what will be the output input etc these things also we'll discuss in today's lecture now uh, so in today's lecture and the, in the next lecture, we have to discuss about the two important uh, topic that is nothing but the legs and yak specification and the features. Out of that, today we'll discuss about the uh, leg specification and its features. Okay. So basically, <clears throat> these legs and yak are the language processor development tools. Okay. Legs and yak are the tools or the software tools. Okay. Uh, which is being provided by the uh, Unix operating system on the ubuntu also you can uh, install it okay as ubuntu is one of the flavor of unix operating system okay so uh, i will show you how to install it and how to do the program using that uh, tools which are nothing but the legs and yak tools okay so today we are going to discuss about these two tools uh, okay today only we'll discuss about the legs tool and its features and how to write the program using legs etc etc okay so these legs and yak are uh, considered to be the uh, language processor development tools. Okay, now what exactly mean by the language processor development tools? Okay, that you first need to understand. Now, a language processor is what? Language processor is nothing but the, uh, so you can consider it as a programming language processor. Or it, it is a nothing but one kind of uh, system program, so system computer program, which translate a source program written in particular programming language into the another programming language or language processor is a software program designed for or used to perform the task such as the processing programming code to the machine code means it is like the uh, one particular uh, what you can say uh, the sub system program which translate the program from one language into the another language understood and this topic already also we have discussed so example of such kind of language processors are nothing but your compilers and the interpreters what you are compilers and the interpreters does the task of what translating the program written in the higher level language into the machine language or translating your program which is written in the higher level language into the lower level language understood so now in order to develop such language processor like compiler interpreter etc now we just take the example of compiler now for the purpose of developing this compiler uh, as a system program in the market there are the various uh, Software tools are available. Okay, to design and develop the compiler as a language processor, there are the various tools are available in the market. Okay, and such tools are called as what language processor development tools. So language processor development tools are nothing but what the tools which are available to develop the certain language processor in the market that are called as a language processor development tools. An example of uh, different language processors for which the language processor development tools are available in the market are compiler, et interpreter, etc, etc. Okay. Now, why there is a need of such kind of uh, language processor development tools? Okay. Like, uh, now already we have discussed the whole working of the compiler, how the compiler works using different phases of compiler from the lexical analysis to syntax, syntax to semantic analysis, then intermediate code generation, then code optimization, and finally the code generation. So these all the phases are related with the compiler. Now system programmer has to design, has to code all these phases for certain language for which he is designing the compiler. Now, as you know, the compiler as a one of the example of language processor, 
okay and to develop and design this kind of system program as you know the compiler is example of uh, system program so to design this system program as a compiler is a very uh, uh, difficult task okay so here i have mentioned the writing a compiler as a language processor is not a simple project or the task okay so it's a very difficult task in the in the computer science if you ask me what is the most difficult task to code uh what is the most difficult program to be developed that is nothing but the language processors like example i am telling you regarding the compiler okay so to make this task simple uh, slightly easy which task to design the language processors like compiler for example there are the some automatic tools are available in the market okay to simplify the task of designing such kind of language processor understood and as i mentioned here there are the several software tools that can help in the production or development of the compiler so compiler is what one of the language processor so in the market there are the various tools are available for the development and production of such kind of language processor as a compiler and such tools are considered as what language processor development tools okay and related with the compiler such two important tools are available in the market and regarding that two tools we are going to discuss okay now which are that two tools available in the market which can be utilized for the compiler construction which can be utilized for the designing of the compiler so such tools are these two tools are lex is the one tool and second is the yak okay so lex is the name given to that tool from the scientist name lesk from the scientist name lesk the lex name is given to that particular tool and second tool is the yak which stand for the yet another compiler compiler okay so using these two tools uh you can we can design the some of the phases of compiler okay we can design the some of the phases of compiler so using the these two tools you cannot design all the phases of compiler but you can design the some of the phases of compiler okay and such tools are nothing but the called as what language processor development tools and which are that two language processor development tools one is the lex and another is the yak okay so today in this lecture we are going to discuss about the uh, lex tool and how to uh, generate uh, what is its functionality what it generates this all the things we are going to see so as i said these are the two base tools available for the compiler construction and these two tools are being provided by the unix operating system that is our linux operating system and the operating system you are utilizing for the practical like you want to uh, that is the flavor of this unix operating system that also support Uh, these two tools you have to just install these tools on your machine and you can uh, take the help of the lex tool to generate the compiler some of the phases of the compiler okay so what exactly this lex tool and what help it can uh, do for the compiler construction okay so this is the first tool that is a, that is called as a lex tool i told you this lex is the name given from the scientist name lex okay now what is this lex tool how it helps to uh, construct the compiler or design the compiler so here i have mentioned lex is a lexical analyzer generator which is the first phase of compiler so as i said for the designing of the compiler designing of the compiler and development of the compiler is very tough task and you know we have discussed the different phases in that compiler like lexical analysis syntax analysis semantic analysis uh, intermediate code generation code optimization and the code generation these different phases we have discussed okay now to uh, develop or to design this first phase of compiler which phase lexical analyzer there is a tool available that is called as a lex tool so here i have mentioned lex is a lexical analyzer generator means first phase of in order to develop first phase of compiler as a uh, tool we have the which tool available lex tool is available to develop the first phase of compiler that is called as a lex so lex is a lexical analyzer generator which is the first phase of compiler means you want to provide you as a flavor of the unix operating system these software tools to develop the first phase of compiler understood now how to develop it uh, what are the different things in that that next we will see but here you just keep in mind to design and develop the first phase of compiler that is what lexical analyzer analyzer generator there is a tool provided by the unix operating system that is called as a lex tool understood then second tool we have the yak yet another compiler now to develop the second phase of compiler what is our second phase of compiler 
syntax analyzer to check the syntax so to develop and design the second phase of compiler the unix operating system has provided us the second tool that is the yet another compiler compiler so here i have mentioned it is a parser generator it is a parser or syntax analyzer generator understood it is what parser or the syntax analyzer generator which is nothing but our second phase of compiler so here from this all discussion i have written both of these tools are available under the unix operating system and how to install that that i will tell you in the next lecture with the practical okay so you have to keep in mind two uh, two important language processor development tools are available to develop the compiler which are that lex is the one tool and second is the yak tool using which we can develop the first and second phase of the compiler okay so now in details we are going to study about the uh, in today's lecture we are going to study the details about the lex okay and in the next lecture we will discuss about the uh, yak second tool uh, available for the construction of the compiler okay so today we will discuss about the what exactly is the lex tool uh, then what kind of input we need to give to the lex tool so that it will generate the lexical analyzer etc etc okay what is the format of writing that input specification as a program so these are all the things today we will discuss okay so as all of you know what exactly is the lexical analysis phase so lexical analysis phase during the lexical analysis phase what compiler does compiler read the input and convert that into the string or expression into the stream of tokens means if i ask you what is the role of first phase of compiler that is role of first phase of compiler is nothing but what reading the input uh, input for the first phase of compiler is nothing but your source code which you, which you are writing in the some higher level language so during the lexical analysis phase the compiler reads the input and convert that input as a string or expression into the stream of tokens so that is the work of our first phase of compiler okay converting your program into the in the form of the tokens and generating the tokens for your program okay now in order to do this we need to generate the lexical analysis we need to generate the lexical analyzer okay to do this task which task to uh, to convert your string or expression as a input into the tokens now this is done by whom lexical analysis phase now to design this lexical analysis phase we have the tool available that is called as a lex tool which is provided by the unix operating system so here i have mentioned lex is a software tool that takes as a input specification means in order to design the first phase of compiler we are going to utilize the lex as a software tool okay and to this lex as a software tool we have to provide some input specification we have to give some input specification understood and how you are going to write that input specification so that input specification you are going to write with the help of some regular e expression together with some action understood what will be your regular what will be your input specification for the lex software tools some regular expression together with some action okay action means uh whenever the uh, you write some regular expression along with that also you need to some action now action will be performed when 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 uh, you write the program and you try to uh, uh, when you write the program and you try to compile it using the lexical analyzer then if your input of your program matches with this particular input specification of lex then after matching some action has to be performed that we have to write in this action part so that in detail we will see here you you just keep in mind if you want to develop the lexical analysis phase as the first phase of compiler using which tool lex tool then you have to give some input specification to that lex tool and that input specification consists of what regular expression with some action okay and the action for what purpose action to be taken on recognizing each of these pattern if the matching of your source code happens with the input specification what if the matching of your source code happens with this input specification then some action has to be performed so if your input if your source code match with the input specification meaning of that is what your source code is matching with this pattern okay so as a input specification we are going to write in the form of the regular expression so this regular expression for what purpose we are going to write in the input specification which is being given to the lex software tool so this regular expression is nothing but using this regular expression we are going to write some pattern what using this regular expression 
we are going to write some pattern or the rules that in the previous lectures i told you okay and if your source code which you are trying to compile if that source code matches with this pattern then some action has to be performed and so that is the reason here it is being mentioned input specification consists of the regular expression together with some action to be taken on recognizing each of these pattern okay so here you just keep in mind the input specification given to the lex software tool is what some regular expression together with some action and what is the regular expression that in the previous lecture also i told you so regular expression is nothing but in short you can also consider it as a uh, regx or regist xt okay or which can be also referred as a rational expression now what is the regular expression in the previous some lectures also i told you regular expression is nothing but what some sequence of character that specify the pattern what some sequence of character that specify the pattern means we are going to utilize the regular expression to specify some rules or to specify some patterns understood so here i have mentioned with the regular expression you can specify the pattern to legs so that it can generate the code that will allow it to scan and match the string in the input so using a regular expression we are going to write the input specification and in that input specification how we are going to write with the help of the regular expression and in that regular expression why what you are going to write for what purpose the regular expression you are going to write to specify the pattern or to specify the rules to the lex so that this lex will generate the lexical analyzer and that lexical analyzer will scan your source code and try to match your source code with the input specification if the input specification will get match with your source code then some action will be get performed okay so here i have mentioned each pattern specified in the input to the lex has an associated action also so each regular expression that you are utilizing to write the pattern or the rule along with that also you need to mention some action also and this action will do what this action returns a token that represent the match string of this action is consist of what action return some tokens okay that represent the match now when this action will return the token when there will be the matching will happen with the source code whatever the input specification you have written with that input specification if the source code will get match then the token will be generated and this token will be sent to the next phase of compiler that is the our syntax analyzer or the parser okay so from this slide you just you need to understand we are going to utilize the lex as a software tool to generate what lexical analysis phase and this lex as a software tool we need to provide some input specification and that input specification consists of what regular expression along with some action understood what is the regular expression it is some sequence of character which you are going to utilize for the specifying the pattern or the rule okay so let me tell you the regular expression what regular expression look like so this is the regular expression for example okay so this is a regular expression for an identifier or for variable okay in the source code you write uh, in c language source code you write some variable declare you declare some variable or the identifier now how your compiler will identify whether that variable you have declared it is correct or not understood now for that purpose we are going to generate the lexical analyzer here okay now who will tell you whether your identifier or variable is correctly written or not that will be tell by the compiler and in that first phase of compiler understood and here we are going to design or develop first phase of compiler using the lex tool understood and in that lex tool we need to give some input specification and that input specification we are going to give with the help of some regular expression now for example here i have shown the regular expression for the identifier is like this so it is consist of the now the, what is the meaning of this regular expression now this regular expression also you can describe the expression consist of some sequence of characters now what is the some sequence of characters like alphabet small case large case some operators understood some special symbol these all the things comes under the category of regular expression so this is the regular expression for identifier of some particular programming language now what is the meaning of this regular expression meaning of this regular expression is nothing but what your identifier must start with the letters so there can be a one letter or more than one letters and after the one or more letters there can be a 
another letters or digits there can be what another letters or digits understood meaning of star is what zero letters or zero digits or more than zero letters or more than uh, zero digits understood so from this this is this is called as a pattern okay now to write this pattern you are going to take the help of what regular expression understood so that is the reason previous slide i said the regular expression you used to specify the pattern or the rules so this is the rule for what identifier so such kind of patterns and the rules are written for different features of your programming language understood so this uh, pattern indicates that your identifier should never start with the digit it should always start with the letters only so such kind of regular expression we are going to write as an input specification to the uh, lex tool and then from that uh, input specification that we are going to give to the lex tool lex tool will generate the lexical analyzer for us understood as a first phase of compiler okay now how the lexical analyzer can be generated this is the complete scenario of how the lexical analyzer will be generated or get constructed as a first phase of compiler understood now how the lexical analyzer will be generated and what kind of input that has to be given to the lexical uh, that what kind of input that has to be given to the lex tool so that the lexical analyzer can be generated and then using that lexical analyzer how we can uh, check whether the source code that you have written that source code is a lexically correct or not understood so let's see now step by step here the things are being mentioned so lex is a tool now this is the tool which is automatic tool which is provided by us uh, which is provided by the uh, unix operating system on the ubuntu also we can install it okay so this is a lex tool now as i said to this lex tool we have to give some input specification understood and this input specification we are going to write as a lex source program what this input specification to the lex tool we are going to write as a lex source program using the lex language understood now why we are giving the input to this lex tool we are giving this input specification to the lex tool so that we can get the lexical analyzer generated so did a dot out is nothing but the lexical analyzer understood now what your lexical analyzer should do what kind of role that your lexical analyzer should perform that all the things you have to write in this program lex dot l lex program when you write the lex program you have to save it using the lex dot l okay so first here i have mentioned first a specification of lexical analyzer as a prepared by the creating the program lex dot l in the lex language now what kind of lexical analyzer you want to generate that all the specification that you have to write here in this lex dot l program so here mention a specification of lexical analyzer as a prepared by creating program lex dot l in the lex language so in this lex dot l uh, program you have to write the lex you have to write the lex specification that lex specification as a input specification will consist of what it will consist of consist of what it will consist of what kind of lexical analyzer you want to generate like when you write the c program for addition you write the code what kind of addition you want to do okay that everything you write in that c source code program here we want to design and develop the lexical analysis phase so that is the reason here you have to write what kind of lexical analysis phase you want what work that lexical analyzer should be done so that everything you write in this lexical analysis uh, in this particular lex dot l program okay then when you give this lex dot l as a input specification to this lex tool so you are going to compile it through the lex tool okay you are going to do the processing using this lex tool on this lex dot l and then through this lex compiler you can also call it the lex compiler which is automatic tool provided by the unix operating system so as a lex dot l is run through the lex compiler by uh, as a lex dot l is given as a input to this lex compiler it will generate a c program what it will generate it will generate the c program like lex dot yy dot c here you can see the output of lex compiler lex dot yy dot c so when i will show the real implementation that time also you can see wherever at which location you have done this lex dot l program at that location only this lex dot yy dot c file will be get generated so 
when you give as a input lex dot l to the lex compiler it will generate the file lex dot yy dot c which is the c program okay now this lex dot yy dot c is a c program containing the recognizer for the regular expression together with supply code now this this particular lex dot yy dot c is given as a input to the c compiler next means finally you can see here i have mentioned finally the lex dot yy dot c is run through the c compiler to produce the object program a dot out so when you give this uh, lex dot yy dot c as a uh, input to this c compiler the new file will be get generated that is called as a a dot out okay this a dot out which is nothing but your lexical analyzer which is nothing but your first phase of compiler okay and this first phase of compiler then will you can utilize this so this is nothing but the you, you have developed one phase of compiler here what you have done when you do this you are developing the first phase of compiler that is what lexical analyzer and this lexical analyzer you can utilize to know whether this lexical and what kind of activity this lexical analyzer can do now what is the role of lexical analyzer role of the lexical analyzer is nothing but what it should generate or recognize the tokens so after generating this lexical analyzer phase this is here you have written a dot out when you give it give it as a input now when your lexical analyzer will recognize the token when you give it as a input some source program means when you compile some program using that particular first phase of compiler okay means when you compile some source program using the lexical analysis phase so this is your lexical analysis phase when you give some source program for example you give some input as a c code you try to compile some c code using the first phase of compiler then it will generate some tokens then it will generate some what token so it will only generate the tokens because here what we are trying to do we are trying to do or we are trying to generate only the first phase of compiler so which is the first phase of compiler lexical analysis understood so as you are trying to develop the first phase of compiler here this will be generate this will be your first phase of compiler as a lexical analyzer and when you try to compile some source program using this first phase of compiler okay what it will should generate the sequence of tokens understood so these all the things through practically also we are going to see then you will get the clear idea here you just keep in mind some uh, here you just keep in mind what are the steps to generate the lexical analyzer lexical analyzer and how we can compile the source program using the lexical analyzer and how it will generate the tokens understood so i hope you have understood first you need to write the in order to generate the lexical analyzer as a first phase of compiler we are going to write, use this tool lex tool what kind of input specification you have to give it for it you have to write the lex specification as a input specification that is nothing but your lex program which you have to write using the extension lex.l now this lex program will be compiled by the lex compiler it will generate the lex.yy.cc program the c program again compiled by the c compiler now to do this there are the some commands you have to utilize that i will to i will tell you when you see the practical okay then this c compiler will generate the a dot out as a executable file that will be your lexical analyzer and this lexical analyzer then you can test by giving by giving some input and you can check whether it can generate some tokens or not so this is the complete working of the lex tool what kind of input we need to give what are output, output would you generate etc etc understood now as i said we have to give some uh, lex specification or the input specification as a uh, input to this lex compiler understood next we are going to see what is the format of writing what is the format of writing this lex program now this is a completely new thing for you understood so there is a some syntax there is some format of writing this lex program okay so next we are going to see the uh, lex specification means lex input specification this input you are giving here how to write this input program how to write this lex.l program so here you can see this uh, lex specification or lex program consists of the three parts okay your lex program consists of the three parts like first part is the declaration section okay second part is this translation rule section and translation rule section always you have to write in between this double percentage okay that is the second part translation rule section and third part is the user function or the auxiliary function 
so the input specification as an input program you are going to write here as a lex.l it consists of the three parts first part is the declaration section second part is the translation rule section and third part is the user function or the auxiliary function understood and here i have mentioned declaration section consists of what declaration of variables constant uh, regular definition some header files if you want to declare that everything comes under the declaration section okay now translation rule section is the our main part so translation rule section consists of the regular expression along with some associated action so in the translation rule section we are going to write some pattern using the regular expression we are going to write some rules using some regular expression along with that rules we have to write some action okay so it is the key part of the lex input specification translation rule section is the main part of our uh, input specification and which is having this kind of format okay which is having this kind of format so what exactly meaning of this format you can see here uh, you can see here this is having this kind of format like p1 followed by the action or p1 p2 p up to the pn means uh, multiple number of uh, rules or uh, patterns you can write here and for each pattern or for each rule you have to write action and how you are going to write this pattern you know to write this pattern you are going to take the help of what regular expression understood so i told you what what is the pattern for example if you want to recognize the identifier so you have to write the pattern just i have shown you and along with that pattern you have to write the action understood so when when you try to check where now this will be your lex program like pattern along with the action pattern you are going to write in the regular expression now this will be this will be given as input to the lex compiler then this lex compiler will generate the lex.yy.c as a c program then it will be given as a input to the c compiler and that c compiler will generate the lexical analyzer and when you give the input to this lexical analyzer for example you for example you give the input here as a abc understood and uh, you have written the uh, translation rule to identify the uh tokens now when you give the input to this lexical analyzer as a abc so it will try to generate the tokens from it means it will try to recognize whether this abc is tokens or not understood so that will be i will tell you in the program you just keep in mind format of writing the lex program okay so here also i have mentioned declaration section consists of the declaration of variable constant regular definition etc translation rule section consists of regular expression and associated actions and it is a key part of our what you can say uh, the lex program okay so this is the part this is the way you have to write the input specification this is the way you have to write your lex program lex dot l so pattern followed by the actions and how how you are going to write the pattern using some regular expression okay here also i have mentioned where this pi is the regular expression Uh, which you are going to utilize for the pattern specification in the form of regular expression and each action is a program fragment this action you are going to write as a some program line it can be a c code also okay and this uh, action will be what this action describing what action the lexical analyzer should take when the pattern pi matches the token when the pattern pi matches with the input source code when this pattern will match it with some your input source code so when this pattern will matches with the token uh, uh, which is part of your input source code then what action has to be taken that all the actions are being mentioned in this action part okay and third section is the user function or the auxiliary function so third section is the auxiliary function or user function which are needed by the actions now which things comes under the user function that i will tell you in the program okay so these all the things are there uh, when you have to write the lex program understood now when you have to write the lex program also we have to utilize some lex operator understood so this lex tool lex tool support the very powerful uh, operators for construction of the regular expression so you know to write the pattern we are going to utilize the regular expression and when you are going to write the regular expression we have to utilize the different kind of Uh, operators so lex has provided different operators also and what what is the regular expression that i already told you regular expression for an identifier is written like this which is nothing but represent the arbitrary string of operators and the digit which is where the your identifier must begin with the letter 
for a matching variable in many programming language understood so this is the rule indicating what if you want to write the identifier for c language it should start with the letter only after the letter there can be a many letters or zero letters or after the letters there can be a many digits or the zero digits now you know to write our lex program uh, there are the different lex operators are provided okay and this is these are the your different lex operators okay means you know to write the lex program uh, with the help of regular expression and the action we have to use these different lex operators okay you just focus on this these things you have to write these things you have to utilize while you are writing the lex program okay so operators are being mentioned like asterisk uh, for example you can uh, write it like a star now what is the meaning of this set of all string of zero or more a's that you should know a star consists of set of all string of zero or more a's then this is the or operator you can utilize it like this a or b which indicates either a or either b then you have the plus operator okay uh, which we can write like this a plus positive closure which meaning of this is what a set of all string of at least one or more a's okay then you have a question mark operator which we can use like this a question mark meaning of that is what zero or one instance of a okay means what it will match with zero or one instance of b this will match with set of all string of one or more these okay then you have the uh, this operator and you can utilize it like this if you utilize it like this it will match with this meaning of this is what either a or b or c and also if you write uh, these operators along with some sequence of character like this a to z so it denotes the regular expression like uh, consists of anything between the a to z okay anything between the a to z understood if you write like this this is meaning of that is what if you write like this a to z it denotes the regular expression which will match with the anything between a to z understood and if you write like this it's meaning either a or b or c so these different things we are going to utilize when you are going to write the lex program okay that we will see then also there are some lex expression that you have to utilize why when you are going to write the lex program okay these are the different lex expression that you can write when you write a lex program like this in bracket a or b if you write the lex expression in the lex program like this it will match with the either a or b okay so if you write the lex program and in that lex program you have write this expression a or b and then so uh, and it will, you will give these as a input expression to the lex then lex will generate the lexical analyzer for this expression understood and when you give some input to this lex lexical analyzer like you give the input as a a then it will it should generate the token as a a if you give the input to the as a q now it will not generate the token because you have not mentioned here q you are just mentioned what a or b and your input will only match with this a or b understood so whatever the specification you give to the lex uh, lex tool accordingly it will generate the lexical analyzer okay if you write the expression like this a or b and in second bracket a or b so it will match with the a a a b b a or b b like this kind of things if you write the expression like a b c star then it will match with the express, uh, expression which will be given as a in which you which, which will you write in the input source code then it will matches with like this kind of things a b a b c a b c c like if you write like this then it will match with the a b c a b c c a b c c and uh, next onwards if you write like expression like this it will match with any one of this a or b or c if you write the expression like a dash z it will match with any letters between the a and z means if you give the input like uh, x also then also it will matches with this understood if you write like this a uh, uh, then the backward slash dash z it then it will match with one of a to z okay if you write like ab star then it will match with the epsilon means null string it will uh, match with the ab or ab ab like this kind of things okay 
if you write the expression like this in your lex program backward slash t backward slash uh, uh, n plus then it will matches with the white spaces in your program white spaces in the sense when you give the empty spaces in your program it will matches with this part if you write the dot as a expression then it will match with the any character except the new line if you write like this backward slash n it will match with the new line if you write the expression like this uh, exponential a b it will match with the anything except a or b a and b it will match with the anything except a and b so such kind of using such kind of expression we have to write our lex program which will be given as a input to the lex compiler and lex compiler then using this input will generate the lexical analyzer and then lexical then that lexical analyzer you can use to check whether that lexical analyzer can identify the tokens or not as a first phase of compiler understood means here what we are discussing we are discussing about how you can generate or design first step phase of compiler using some automatic tool that is the lex tool understood then there are also the some variables and the function that also you can utilize while you are writing the lex okay so here that are being mentioned like function you can utilize by by lex so it is a call to the our uh, lex lexer okay the lex tool that we are going to utilize it is a call to that lex uh, tool using the yy lex function then star yy text so it is a pointer to the matching string okay whenever the your input source code match with the input specification uh, of the lex program then you to keep the track of that this uh, pointer variable star yy text is utilized to pointer to the match string then yy length the length of the match string okay yy l well value associated with the tokens then yy wrap function so yy wrap function indicates whether your program has uh, exited or not return one if your program has finished or zero if your program has not finished then uh, two pointer variables again related with the file are utilized like star yy out so it is uh, used to for the generation of output file and star yy in it is used to give the uh, input to your lex program suppose if you want to give some input file to your lex program then you can utilize this star yy in pointer variable okay so these different things like as i said these operators this expression this different function variable we have to take the help of all these things all these features of our uh, lex uh, language to generate the lex program and then give it as a input to the uh, our lex compiler okay so so now for, for whatever discussion we have done up till now for that we are going to discuss now actual implementation program okay actual implementation program for that okay so here i have mentioned example so this example is also there in your uh, group b practical also write a lex code to count the total number of tokens what write a lex code to count the total number of tokens means what is the meaning of this statement La write a lex code and generate the lexical analyzer as a first phase of compiler and try to generate the tokens using that first phase of compiler okay so that is our statement so lex is a computer program that you know it's a tool which can generate the lexical analyzer and this tool is written by scientist mike lex and eric smith that is the reason this tool is called as a lex okay so lex read the input string and generate the lexical analyzer according to the specification so to this lex tool we write some we give some input specification and from that input specification the the way you write the input specification accordingly your lex tool will generate the lexical analyzer okay so for that purpose uh, and after generating the lexical analyzer by that your lex tool uh, then that lexical analyzer can be utilized to recognize the token so token is a group of characters or the token is a class of lexemes that matches the pattern that matches the rules like tokens example are like keywords identifier operator separator these all the things come under the category of token so here we have given the input int p equal to 0 comma d equal to 1 comma c equal to 2 now this is the one just single line code of c language for example now we have to write we have to generate 
as a first phase of compiler means you are trying to generate now one system program using which tool using the lex tool so we have to generate the lexical analyzer as a first phase of compiler using the lex tool and this lexical analyzer should recognize which kind of tokens are there in this single line of code understood and to generate this lexical analyzer we are going to take the help of lex understood so accordingly we have to write first the input specification to this lex and the input specification should be written so that lexical analyzer will generate and it will recognize these tokens which are the tokens in this particular c language code okay so let's see how we can proceed now as i said now you have to just focus on this scenario what now now the example that we are just uh, discussing for that we have to write first the lex program okay that lex program we will give as an input to the lex compiler and that will generate the lex.yy.c this will be given as input to the c compiler and it will generate the lexical analyzer as a a dot out and then to this a dot out we have to give that input which input that int p equal to 0 like that input we have to give to this and then we have to check whether it can generate the tokens or not okay let's see how we can do it okay so this is the input we are going to give to our lexical analyzer okay not this is not the input specification for the lex this is the input which we are going to check for what purpose which tokens are there this which tokens are there in this input that we are going to check when when our lex tool when our lex tool will generate the lexical analyzer so first we have to write the input specification to this lex tool then this lex tool will generate the lexical analyzer and then we are going to check this input whether it contain the tokens or not by using this generated lexical analyzer okay so let's see so this is the lex program lex code to count the total number of tokens okay this is our lex program <coughs> okay this is our lex program now this lex program this whole lex program we are going to give as a input to our lex compiler let's see this is your lex compiler as i shown you previously so this is your lex program we are going to give as a input to your lex compiler like lex.l and then it will generate the lex.yy.c and this lex.yy.c you are going to give as input to the c compiler and then this c compiler will generate the a dot out as a lexical analyzer for this program and then we are going to give some input to this lex program and then this lexical analyzer will check whether this input containing some tokens or not and input already we have given input already we have given that is this int p equal to 0 d equal to 1 c equal to 2 okay so what exactly is this lex program is let's see as i said your lex program or input specification consist of the three section so this is your first section compulsory first section you have to write like compulsory first section you have to write in between these star symbols followed by the braces okay so this is your declaration section in this declaration section you are just declare int n equal to 0 keep in mind we are writing the lex program and this lex program using this lex program as a input to the lex tool we are going to generate first phase of compiler okay please don't get confused here and after generation of that lexical analyzer we are going to check our input that is this input which input our input this input containing the tokens or not okay so first thing is what first we need to write the lex program so in the lex program as i said first part consists of the declaration section and second part starting from here starting from here double uh, percentage sign your rule section is starting now what is the rule section i told you the rule section consists of like this kind of format p1 and in bracket action part like this this is the format of writing the rule section now in the rule section you can see same thing i have done now we have to write the rule to count and identify the keywords from your input source code or to identify and count the keywords from your input source program now for that purpose you have to write the pattern like this for the keywords like these patterns you have write now which are the keywords in the c language accordingly you have to write it here like between the double inverted comma 
while then or if or else like the, you know in in the third there are the 32 keywords in the c language but here here you are just mentioning 1 2 3 and in the second line 4 5 so now this program when you give as a input to the lex tool or lex compiler and then it will generate the lexical analyzer so this lexical analyzer will able to recognize only these five keywords only it will not be able to recognize all the 32 keywords because you are writing the or you are generating the lexical analyzer only to identify these five keywords only so it will only identify or recognize these five keywords only if you try to recognize the print keyword using this uh, program then it will not be get recognized by this lexical analyzer okay keep in mind so likewise if you want to identify the keywords like while if else then this is the pattern and this pattern followed by this is the action this is the action part as i said action part you can write in the c language code also so here this this action part now this action part will count the number of keywords also now you know to count n plus plus is mentioned here and it will also display it like printf keyword percent s yy text now yy text is storing the match string yy text is storing what match string means consider the lexical analyzer generated and you give the input to this as a source code as an input to this lexical analyzer and you are in your lexical uh, in your source code you have mentioned the keyword if then this if will be recognized as a keyword that will be the output of lexical analyzer that keyword keyword if but if you give the input to this as a do then do will be not, do will not be get recognized because here you are not mentioned the code for the do you are just mentioned the code for f and once it will re recognize if then if pointer this n, n will be get incremented accordingly okay so whenever the uh, keywords from this rule section will get match accordingly the action will be taken two action will be taken here its counter will be get incremented and it will get display as a keywords so whenever the matching will happen then that match thing will be get stored in the yy text buffer okay accordingly you can write the uh, uh, pattern or the rule section like this for the keywords like int and float so likewise you can write the pattern or the key uh, rules for all the 32 keywords and in front of that you can write the action part also like this suppose you want to identify the identifiers as already i told you the rule section or the pattern for identifier using the regular expression is written like this small a to z uh, capital a to z <coughs> uh, followed by the underscore also you can mention and this can be a compulsory your uh, identifier must start with the compulsory your identifier or variable must start with the letters and after the letters there can be a more letters or more digits or after the letters there can be a zero letters or the zero digit that is the reason it is being mentioned here like this okay and particular action is written for that if uh, input you are going to check as a source code uh, in your source code if you want to check how many tokens are there so in your source code if you have mentioned the variables like uh, abc or the like int abc sorry int so this is the consider this is your uh, input you have written in your source code and consider after this your lex tool generate the lexical analyzer and this lexical analyzer will get this as an input now this lexical analyzer must generate the tokens for this expression like int is a int is a keyword okay and abc is a identifier so this abc will get match here abc will get match here because abc are the uh, get match between the a to z any letters okay accordingly n will be get incremented and these things will be get displayed okay Similarly, if you want to count the operators which is present in your source program, C program, then for that you can write the pattern in the using regular expression like this along with the action like uh, uh, less than equal to equal equal to uh, assignment plus increment minus multiplication plus like this kind of things. Understood. So if these things are there in your source program, definitely it will be get match with this. Okay, with these rules. Then 
if this get match with these rules then certain action will get performed like this for each particular different things if you are if in your source program you have written the variable and it will get match with these rules then particular action will be get performed understood so suppose if you want to count and identify the separators then for that you have to write the rule like this these are the different separators which can you, you can utilize in the c code like uh, uh, square braces curly braces bar uh, comma semicolon these are all considered the separators if these things are present in your source program code it will be get match here with this lex program and then accordingly the action will be performed suppose if you want to count the number of real numbers floats in your program then for this rule is written like this now real numbers like you can write like this one point like these are the considered as a float or the real number so or you may have the things like 0.9 so that is the reason rule is written like this lex rule or the pattern which is using the regular expression so uh, first you can see 0 to 9 followed by the star means uh, there can be a anything before the dot like anything between the here can be a zero or here can be a one or a first first is it can be two three anything that is the reason zero to nine dot and after that also there can be a zero to nine digit it's a, anything between the zero to nine if these things present in your source program okay and then it will get match with this part and accordingly the action will be get performed you if you want to uh, recognize the integers then that will be get also match with for the integers the pattern or the rule can be written like this understood like uh, now if you write the 239 now this 239 integer will be get match with this pattern like it consists of the what 0 to 9 uh, followed by the plus positive closure means one digit or more than one digits so that will be get recognized as an integer okay and that will be uh, if it get match then it will get stored in the white wire text buffer and then get displayed if uh, dot you have written in the rule section it will get match with anything except the new line that are written and here your rule section is ending so whatever the things that you want to recognize that everything you have to mention in the rule section so this is our second part of your lex program okay and the third part is here this is your third part so third part consists of the user function or the auxiliary function so here you have written the yy lex function which you will call the lex tool or the lexer and then in the uh, that uh, main function you are displaying how many total number of tokens are there when you give the input to this program as a c language source code how many tokens will be generated that will get displayed okay so once you write this once you write this okay once you write this lex program okay this consider this is nothing but your lex dot l what this is your lex dot l so the scenario that i have told you now this is the scenario i have told you so this lex dot l we are going to compile using the lex compiler using certain command then it will generate the lex dot yy dot c again this, this c program you have to compile with the c compiler and then it will generate the executable file a dot out which is nothing but your lexical analyzer which is nothing but your what lexical analyzer and then to this lexical analyzer we are going to give the input that is nothing but our int uh, p equal to 0 then d equal to 2 okay this input you are going to give to this a dot out as a lexical analyzer and for for this expression your first page of compiler that you have generated using the lex compiler it will try to recognize which are the tokens in this expression let's see uh, in the output section okay so here here is your output section here now total number of tokens what is your input you are going to give this is your input this is your input int p equal to 1 d equal to 0 r equal to 4 now there are the important thing here when you are going to write the lex program and compile it and try to generate the lexical analyzer there are the certain commands you have to utilize which is new thing for you okay so first thing is what that i told you you have to give the input to the lex compiler 
that is in the form of for example i will give the name to this program as a uh, for example 4.l any name you can give to that lex program 4.0 so here in order to compile it using the lex compiler you have to write the command like this lex the, uh, space 4.l then it will generate the lex dot yy dot c in the next lecture i will show you this in on the ubuntu terminal how it generate all these things okay then next thing is what this you have to give as a input to the c compiler okay and then c compiler so for that command is what gcc or the cc lex dot yy dot c dash lfl dash lfl okay means lex related library okay then this c compiler will generate the file a dot out will generate the file a dot out so this a dot out is nothing but your first phase of compiler which you have developed or which you have generated or designed using the tool lex now this is the first phase of compiler which you can now run dot slash a dot out which you can run okay using this command dot slash a dot out means you are now running the particular first phase of compiler that is the lexical analyzer as a one software you are running and you are giving it as a input like this what int p equal to 1 d equal to 0 r equal to 4 and then this lexical analyzer will generate the output this lexical analyzer uh, okay here a dot out as your lexical analyzer executor file to this you are going to give the input as a int p equal to 1 d equal to 0 r equal to 4 this input you are going to give here and then it will generate the tokens out of this input whether the tokens are there or not this input you are going to give here and then this lexical analyzer will generate the tokens now consider we have given it as a input to the generated lexical analyzer and what kind of tokens it is generating it is generating the tokens like this like it is generating the tokens as a keywords and what is that keyword int now this int will get match with which part of your lex program so int will get match with this part of your lex program which part this part and it will generate it will print keyword and in front of keyword your int will be get displayed okay understood similarly it is generating next uh, next token as a identifier means p now where these things will get match let's see p will get match where so p will get match here in this rule and it will count it and it will display identifier in front of identifier p then p equal to 0 now where the 0 will get match okay so let's see next is what equal to sorry next is equal to so equal to is what operator where it will get match here in the uh, fourth row here it will get incremented one operator has recognized and it will get display operator in front of equal to. then equal to next we have the uh, zero where the zero will get match zero will be get match here and it will get match here as a and it will get display as a integer let's see here Uh, sorry integer is a one integer one Sep similarly this semicolon will be get recognized in the separator rule separator we have written the rule to recognize the separator where is it, where it is here here you can see comma will get match from your input it will get match here and it will display like this understood so likewise all the different uh, all the different input like then d d will get match as identifier then again operator equal to integer 0 then separator comma identifier next r then equal to operator integer for this all the things will get match with this part and accordingly you will get the lexical analyzer generated for uh, accordingly your lexical analyzer will do the recognition of all these things so you are writing the lex lexical analyzer to identify the keywords here to identify the identifier operators separators floats etc so 
your lexical generated lexical analyzer will recognize these things only understood so if you try to give the input uh, if you try to give the input here for example uh, as a print 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 f so this this print f is the keyword that we know but using this lexical analyzer that you have generated using the lex compiler it will not going to recognize this because what is the reason you have not written the any any rule here to recognize the print f in the rule section you have not written anything about the print f as a keyword understood that is the reason it will be not get recognized understood so lexical analyzer will recognize the only things which you have mentioned in the lex program and for which you have generated the lexical analyzer understood so these things once again i will uh, tell you practically in the practical session okay uh, so i hope all of you understood how the lex tool can be utilized to generate the lexical analyzer and how this lexical analyzer can be utilized to generate the different kind of tokens so this is the all about the lex tool which is the which is the language processor development tools provided by our unix operating system and total number of count then will be display so if you count this there are the 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 13 tokens will be get understood so that's it from the today's lecture in the today's lecture we have discussed about uh, what are the language processor development tools like lex and yak and what is the use of that lex tool utilized to generate the lexical analyzer and that lexical analyzer we are going to utilize to generate the tokens then um, uh, how you are how you can write the lex program and give as a input to the lex compiler what is this all the processing uh, how to write the lex program format of that what are the different operators are there what are different expressions are there to write the lex program and actual implementation these all the things we have today i hope all of you got this point if you have any doubt you can mention it in the comment section i will definitely answer okay thank you all of you